What's up, guys? Teacher Corey here, English Tiger. And today we're going to talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is an interesting holiday because we celebrate it in my home country, Canada, as well. The Americans celebrate it too, but we celebrate on different days and for different reasons. So today we're going to do a little overview of Thanksgiving. We're going to do a Thanksgiving English lesson. So sit back and enjoy. Let's get started. So before the actual lesson, let's learn a little about the difference of Canadian and American Thanksgiving. In Canada, Thanksgiving is held on the second Monday of October. So it falls on a different date, different number of the month, but it's the second Monday in October and it's a three-day weekend. So we get Saturday, Sunday as normal, normal weekend, and we get Monday off. So no school, no work on Monday. That's Canadian Thanksgiving. In America, they hold it on the fourth Thursday of November. So Canada, second Monday of October. America, fourth Thursday of November, and the Americans are lucky. They get a four-day week, four-day weekend, where in Canada, we only get three. So in America, they get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They get a long break for Thanksgiving. Probably why Americans seem to care more about Thanksgiving than us Canadians do. It's not, it's not too big a deal in Canada. But when I see American Thanksgiving on TV, it looks very important. The difference of the celebrations in Canada, we celebrate the English explorer, Martin Frobisher. I might be saying that name wrong, but Martin Frobisher, and he held the first Canadian Thanksgiving in the province of Newfoundland, which is on the east coast of Canada. And in Canada, we celebrate his safe arrival to the New World. So New World is what they called the Americas. Canada, America, Mexico, all of that. They called that the New World back then. So he was trying to find a passage, the Northwest Passage, from the Americas to Asia. And the first Thanksgiving in Canada was held in 1578. So our Thanksgiving is actually before the Americans and is to celebrate this voyage, not so much to celebrate the harvest, like in America. What is the Northwest Passage? Well, the Northwest Passage is about 900 miles long. I think that's around 1,400 kilometers. And it goes from the North Atlantic of Canada, around Baffin Island, and it goes all the way over to the West in Alaska, and it's all within the Arctic Circle. The Arctic Circle is a very cold spot in the northern part of the world. Back in the old times, these explorers we're trying to find a faster way to get to Asia. They wanted to cut through the Arctic 
and sail from Canada to China very quickly. They wanted to take a shortcut to Asia and not have to go through the Pacific Ocean, which is very big and takes a long time. So that's why they were looking for this Northwest Passage. They wanted to find a way to Asia. Now, the first American Thanksgiving was celebrated about 43 years after the first Canadian. It was in 1621 at the site of Plymouth Plantation in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a state on the east coast of America, and it's actually very close to Canada. Massachusetts has similar weather and similar location to most Canadian cities. American Thanksgiving celebrates the, the Indians or the Native Americans, which they're called now, and specifically a tribe called the Wampanoag. I might have that a little wrong. I apologize. But I think it's pronounced Wampanoag. So, the Wampanoag were a Native American tribe who lived around the Massachusetts area. And they ran land cultivation and fishing. And in that time, the pilgrims, so those are the people who came over from England to settle in the Americas, they were not used to the harsh winters. We have up in Massachusetts near Canada, it's very cold, very bad winter. So they were not prepared. And the Native Americans there, they saved these pilgrims from starving to death. They taught them how to survive in the winter time. They shared their food with them taught them how to grow crops, how to save them for the winter time. So you don't starve in the winter. Summer, you're fine. But winter time, you need to have a lot of food stored up or else you're going to die. It's very harsh winter. So American Thanksgiving is to give thanks to the new harvest and the Native Americans who saved their lives. I think American Thanksgiving has a much more valued story than Canadian Thanksgiving because the Wampanoag Native Americans are true heroes, true brave people. They helped these strangers in their land. They didn't hate on them. They put their differences aside and saved them. It's a great story. As far as how we celebrate Thanksgiving, it's pretty much the same. We have big meals, a feast, if you will, meaning lots and lots of food, time with our families, and we relax, take some time off. It's a great holiday. So now that we have that history of Thanksgiving out of the way, let's get to our Thanksgiving lesson. Today, we're going to use a lesson from Lingual House, which is a great website. They're not a sponsor, but definitely go check them out for some English material. So we're going to follow through their lesson and learn about Thanksgiving with that. We can see here we have eight pictures and eight things up here. So I want you to pause the video, I mean stop it, and try to match these vocabulary words to their pictures. Now, don't worry if you can't get them all. This is just like a warm up. We haven't learned yet. So you pause, match them, then press play. Okay? Our first one up here, very easy. This is Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Obviously, Thanksgiving dinner is what we eat on Thanksgiving. Number two, these are yams. 
also called sweet potatoes. Yams are a traditional Thanksgiving food. They're very delicious. You can have them in a pie, baked, even French fries. You can cook them in many ways. Number three is football. Now this is American football, not soccer. So it's very normal on Thanksgiving for people to get together and watch the football game. Football is very popular in America, less so in Canada, but still popular. And we do still watch it on Thanksgiving. Four, pumpkin pie. So we all know pumpkins. Pumpkins are very delicious. And they're thought of as a Halloween thing, but they're also a Thanksgiving one. Pumpkins are a, a cold weather vegetable, I guess. Five, the big turkey. If you don't have turkey in your country, it's like a chicken but it's bigger and drier. I actually think chicken tastes better than turkey, but turkey's still pretty good. Six, the Macy's Parade. Now, a parade is when people go in the street, they walk down the street, have big show in the street, maybe big balloons, throw candy, like a party in the street. And Macy's Parade is kind of like a brand. It's a very famous parade. Cranberries are a fruit you can see down here. Very delicious fruit. And cranberries are very normal for Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner. And our last one, a wishbone. So you can see on the bone down here, there's two halves. So what you do is two people each grab a part of the wishbone like this and pull. And whoever gets the bigger part when it breaks, their wish will come true, their Thanksgiving wish. So this is often for children. It's a fun little thing to do on Thanksgiving to try to get your wish. For our next part, we're going to do a little reading. But before the reading, we're going to do some guessing. So I want you to try to guess the answer to these three questions. Then we will do the reading and we will get the true answer. So number one. When is Thanksgiving celebrated in Canada? You should get this one right because we talked about it at the beginning. Number two, how many people traveled from England in 1620 on one ship to America? And three, What's another name for Thanksgiving? So you just take a guess. Pick one of these, anyone you want to guess the right answer, and we'll see how good you are at guessing. Okay, now our reading. So you can read along with me or just listen. Although it is unsure when the first Thanksgiving dinner actually took place, the United States celebrates it every fourth Thursday of November. In Canada, it's always celebrated on the second Monday of October. Most businesses are closed and children don't go to school for four days. In America, Canada, it's three days. People travel across the country to be with their families and celebrate being reunited with a big dinner 
It's time to be thankful for all that they have. The tradition of celebrating Thanksgiving was started by Native American Indians and pilgrims and is believed that the pilgrims who were people who traveled from England to Holland and halfway around the world to America to escape persecution and find religious freedom. So this is talking about American Thanksgiving, not so much Canadian. Now, a couple words to talk about here. Celebrate. That's when you have like a party, a good time for something. Something good happened, you celebrate it. Pilgrims, they're the early people who came to settle the Americans from Europe. Escape means to get away from something. And persecution means people are trying to attack you for your beliefs. They want to put you in jail, get you in trouble. They, they don't believe what you believe. And they want to fight you for it. Persecution. And religious. This comes from religion. It's like what God you believe in. You Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, many religions. Okay, let's finish. <clears throat> oh, that's too far. There we go. In the year 1620, 102 men, women, and children traveled across the Atlantic Ocean on a ship called the Mayflower. They, they arrived on the northeast coast of what is now North America and started a colony at a place they called Plymouth. A colony is when you, you come from another country and then you set up shop in an area. You, you want to make this your new home, but you want to make it part of the other country too. You're not immigrating there. You are not going to follow the people there's customs and religion. You still want to keep your own, and you still want to keep your own people, but on their land. <clears throat> Paragraph four. It was already winter when they arrived and too late to grow crops. They immediately started to build small houses. It was a long, cold winter and half of the settlers became sick. By spring, many of them died. Immediately means happens very quickly. The Native American Indians gave the pilgrims food and taught them how to survive in their new home. They showed them how to grow corn, how to hunt, and which plants they could eat. So the pilgrims were able to continue their new life with a sense of hope. Everyone now had food and a home. The Indians and the pilgrims soon became allies and later signed a peace treaty. So allies means they're like teammates. They help each other. They work together. And a peace treaty, this means both people agree to not fight. They will not kill each other. They will not steal. They will be friends. To celebrate the excellent harvest and new relationships, the governor of the new colony invited the Native Americans for a large feast. The Indians brought five deer, goose, duck, turkey, fish, shellfish, and fruit, and vegetables such as pumpkins. The celebration continued for three days. So the, the Native Americans, the Indians, they brought a lot of animals and food too. 
Everybody had like a party for three days together. Now, almost 400 years later, many people think that the story of Thanksgiving, the story of how Thanksgiving started, is just that, a story. In modern times, Turkey Day, an informal name for Thanksgiving, is a special holiday for both Americans and Canadians. Although there are slight differences, the two countries agree that roast turkey is the symbol of this holiday dinner. For Americans, no Thanksgiving meal would be complete without corn on the cob, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, yams, cranberry sauce, and of course, famous pumpkin pie. Ooh, making me hungry. With so many dishes to be prepared for this one evening, most of the family helps out in the kitchen. To prepare the turkey, first it is stuffed with seasoned bread, mixed and then roasted. When it's cooked, it's served and carved at the table and families feast together. So many people call Thanksgiving Turkey Day. And they say that's an informal name. That is the same as a nickname. It's a nickname. Right. <clears throat> Many organizations in America prepare free Thanksgiving meals for those who are less fortunate. In New York City, the Feeding NYC Project prepares and sends food to over 35,000 families for the holiday. Ooh, that's a lot. The city also holds an annual Macy Day, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with floats and balloons. This is a very famous parade. It's very big. It's huge. Thanksgiving's traditions vary depending on the region, but playing backyard football on Turkey Day with family and friends has been a tradition across the country since the 19th century. The NFL, National Football League, traditionally holds a series of games played during the Thanksgiving weekend in the U.S. The annual White House tradition of pardoning the turkey is televised and watched by millions. Turkeys have been given to the presidents for Thanksgiving for years. But the official pardoning happened in 1989 when George Bush Sr. saved a turkey from ending up on the table as the main course for turkey dinner. So this one, a pardoning, this means the president can take somebody who's in trouble. Maybe they're in trouble for something that they shouldn't be in trouble for. Or it was thought to be bad. Now people think it's good. So he can pardon the person. And that takes away all the trouble on their record. They are no longer a bad person. All the trouble is gone. That's a presidential pardon. So how many of these ones did you guys get right? I'm very curious to know if you guys got many right or just a little. So let's take a look. When is Thanksgiving celebrated in Canada? It's B at the beginning of October. How many people traveled from England on one ship? It's also B, 102. Another name for Thanksgiving, Turkey Day. So now you can pause this video again. Give it a pause. And put true or false for each of these. And when you're ready, press play again. I will tell you the answers. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Number one is false. It's on the fourth Thursday in November for Americans. So that's at the end. Two. False as well. 
Thanksgiving celebration lasted for three days. Three? False again. They couldn't grow crops because it was winter. You can't grow crops in winter in Massachusetts. So they had to wait till the spring. Number four. This one is true. Five. False. They brought lots of food, including meat, fish, eggs, fruit, vegetable. And our last one is true too. So I hope you got a lot of these ones right as well. Our next part here, we have some meanings of vocabulary words that were in the writing. So this one's going to be a little hard if you can't see the writing at the same time. So you might want to stop, go back, check it, and come back. But again, you pause this video and try to find these answers. And then I will put them up here for you. And we'll see how many you get right, okay? So you pause the video now. All right, so I'm going to start putting them. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> okay. So here's all our answers. Pilgrims are the group of people who came from England to America. Persecution. Unfair treatment because of your religion or your race. So where you're from, what you look like. Freedom. The right to speak or act without limits. The right to do what you want to do. Within limits, actually. You can't kill people. That's still not freed up. Well, I guess it is, but we don't count it. A colony. A place controlled by another country. In a different country. Example, Canada used to be colony of England. Same with Hong Kong, used to be a colony of England too. Allies, people are countries who help each other. A peace treaty, an agreement to not fight. A feast is a big, large meal people eat. And oh, I put the wrong answer there in the last one. The last one. Should be a float, a float. Can I erase that one? Da, 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 da. There we go. The last one is a float. This is the big thing that comes down in the parade. We call it a float. And our last part here, we have some different verbs. I want to see if you can put the right verb into each of these. So again, pause the video and then fill in the verbs, okay? Okay, so here's all the answers. People stuff a turkey. Stuff means you, you shove things inside it. Stuff the turkey, then you cook it. Roasted chestnuts is when you cook them over fire, you roast them. A sharp knife to carve the turkey. Carve the turkey just means to cut the pieces off, get ready to eat. What time do you serve turkey? Serve it. You give it to the people. The family reunited at the airport. Reunited. You've been away for a long time. Now you have come together again. A family always holds a festive New Year's dinner. So holds we often use if you're throwing a party. If you're having an event, you are the person who is doing it. You hold that event. And pardoned, I already talked about in the last part. That means you are forgiven for something bad you've done and you are let go into society. All right, guys, so that's our Thanksgiving lesson. 
I hope you learned a lot about Canadian and American Thanksgiving. Let me know any questions you have below. As well, I would like to know what's your favorite holiday in your country. Leave that in the comments below. Leave me any questions you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.